Time now for a taste of nostalgia. You, Juliet Sear is whipping up an old school classic. Oh, what are you making for oh, us, Juliet? Easy. Classic jam sponge pudding. Really love it. And so quite often you'll be steaming this, but I've got a really easy one where you can just whack it in the oven. Nice. And it just, yeah, really reminds you of school days, doesn't it? I don't yes. even have one of these since school. It's such a <laughs> lovely, like, pudding, isn't it? It's one of those things, isn't it? It's one of those things that I think is so easy to make and it's really cheap as well. Store cup of ingredients. If you're going to do this, how long would it take to steam? Gosh, uh, probably, I'd say, like, 45, 50 minutes. And then and, you do that, like, like with a vegetable oh, steamer? Um, you can do, or you can just put a little, like, trivety thing in the bottom yeah. of your thing, yeah. yeah so, nice. in, in a thing, in a thing. <laughs> <laughs> but don't do that, just do this one and yes. do it in the oven, because it's way, way more easier. Um, so I've got some really soft butter here, or spread. So I'm actually using some spread here, like, um... Uh, a margarine? Kind of, yeah, like margarine, because it'll just give you a softer texture at the end. It's just a bit more squishy. So I've got some sugar in there, and I'm just going to beat that together so it's really pale and fluffy. Well, that's a really quiet one. It's very quiet, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, custard or ice cream? That is the that question. That is the question. Summer, I go ice cream, but right now, it's all about the couture. Yeah, the couture. Yeah. Uh, it's you quite know. nice. Oh, it's yeah. quite nice. Oh, God, the sorry, mix I just of the cold <laughs> and the hot, though. Who likes I that? I thought you had ice cream now, so I feel terrible. <laughs> Pop a bit. Say nice. when. Have both. Oh, when. Thank you. Lovely. So, for this one, we've got some raspberry jam in this one, but you can literally use anything you like. So, I'm just actually going to... I've just softened that up now. So... <laughs> Love a little stealth pour. <laughs> yeah. I've got some raspberry jam, but you can use absolutely anything, so any flavour jam you like. The king of jams, raspberry jam. How do you, think? you get it that light? What's nice and really soft? Nice, it's just yeah. been stirred. Oh, the oh the sponge. Yeah. Yeah, because that's with the um, well, I've got a little bit of milk in it. It's quite a sort of loose mixture, but I've got that with that sponge with the uh, margarine rather than butter. It will just be a softer texture. Right. So you'll just find yeah with the butter it will just be a bit more heavy. So just spread out your jam, any jam you like. So you could do absolutely anything here. You could even use something like a chocolate spread or you know like the, the biscuit spread. You could put golden syrup. Well, choice. You could do a mixture, couldn't you? Have some, you know, so you'd have a mixture of. So if you're doing a syrup sponge, you'd do exactly the same process, but you'd be putting syrup down some there rather syrup. than gin. Yeah. yeah. And you and what you could do, you could um you could even have something like, you know, some gorgeous sort of stewed apples, a bit of caramel, and then this particular this sponge over the top. Um and you're saying you'd like to try one savory as well. I would like to try a savory. Would that version. mean you're putting cheese where the jam is now or I think you'd put something like um you could do something like really or you could do something like gravy, couldn't you? Oh, <laughs> and underneath oh, lovely. Yes. an upside down gravy pudding. Imagine that. Like all you could do like, if you're doing cheese, would you add the cheese to the sponge? I'd add lovely. some cheese to the sponge, you wouldn't put any sugar in, and maybe you could do something like, you know, like marmite or something underneath. Oh, like, lovely. Yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? And don't, are you doing are you doing one egg at a time? So I'm doing about one egg at a time, and again, it's one of those things where you don't have to be that precise. I like to put one at a time just to sort of like get it mixed in. But I've actually tested this recipe, and you can literally dump the whole lot in a food processor and just give it a whiz as well, and that works. It's, oh, you don't have to have a mixer, you can just do it with a wooden spoon. It's really, really easy, so anyone can make it. I love how willy wonky you are with like testing stuff. You're always you're always at it at home, aren't you? Just like I, I am. a couple of cakes over yeah. there and sponges over there. Yeah, no, I love it. It's my it's, it's really it's my passion. Like, it is my passion. Like mm. I, I, I'm my my daughters are the same. Like we're just planning what we're going to eat next. Even when you're in bed, like oh, what should I have to eat? Mm. And I start to think about different things. <laughs> so I've got all my eggs in there. Bit of vanilla. Yeah, lovely. And then. So I say, if you wanted to sort of like change this up a bit, you could use um, yeah, some lovely caramel and um, you could use some golden syrup and then you could use a brown sugar in it. So it'll give it a bit of a sort of like richer taste and chuck in some cinnamon. You can just really, this is a base recipe that you can change just to... So in there goes got what? Some, um, flour and some baking powder. There seems to be a, a technique to the flow of things that you're doing here, Julia. Yeah. Is that, is that the technique to get it this light as well? Well, I mean... I think it is just the just the, that soft um, margarine that really gets it light. Obviously, you don't want to over-process it. If you if you over-mix the flour, I'm doing yeah. this really slowly, then it can make it tough. Right. So, literally, you just want to see that um, powder just to sort of almost disappear. Okay. You don't want to mix it too much, otherwise it will become heavy. It tastes mm. like it's got no calories. Oh, it's got no calories at all. <laughs> <laughs> Calorie-free. What's going in there? So, I've got a little bit of milk there, and just that's just going to oh. loosen it up a bit, just a bit more moisture in there, just to, again, make it a bit lighter. Yeah, it's funny, when we were kids, margarine was everywhere, wasn't yeah. it? Like, you mm. see adverts for it, and, like, you know... And you wouldn't think about 
baking so much with it nowadays. You know, we see it's all the baking went on the off, it, it wasn't on trend, was it? It was no. sort of like looked down upon, let's say. It Why can is be, that? I think once people sort of like started to, you know, more and more food TV, more food programmes, knowing about like really delicious butter. Yeah. I think you know you get a bit of sort of like food snobbery, don't you? Sometimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But you still but use it's got it. Its place. Re, yeah, you, and you still use it as it, it, like as a sort of crucial baking tool, are you? Oh, I do. Yeah. If I want to have a very like a very light sponge. Um, a softer texture because obviously with butter it sets much harder at room temperature, doesn't right. it? If you think about when you've got really cold weather and you've got a block of butter out in your, your kitchen, it sets like a rock, doesn't it? So the same mm. as once so that right, cake... It's so light, isn't it? Mm. Once that cake sets, it's going to be really, really hard. So literally, just cover the jam over there, whack it into the oven for about 40 minutes until it's really risen and golden and fully baked. I'm a real butter snob. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's oh, lovely yeah. to have, like, really good butter on, like, French bread, you know, and then there you have it. Look at that. What kind of stuff do you go? Irish butter. Oh, yeah. Irish butter. Talking. Good old Irish salted <laughs> yeah, butter. Yeah. Oh, that's probably lovely. why I love you, Dermot O'Leary. <laughs> loads of sea salt on sprinkling yeah. on top. Oh, yeah. So there we go. George, Look at that. I don't know if your recipes are really easy or if you make quite complicated things look easy. What do you think? Oh, this is really easy. It, it, it's a bit of both. It depends what I'm doing. But I do try and make things, complicated things, more achievable and more approachable for people. Like, I think yeah, that's what's... Like when I started out doing cake decorating, like, over 20 years ago, that was my sort of thing. Like, don't be scared. Like, it's not as hard as you'd think. And, you know, you can... Look at that. Look. <laughs> Look at that. Put, let's have the, the custard pour over the top. Oh, this is Look the shot. Here we go. Here we go. Shot, shot there. Give me some M&S music. Here we go. Down, 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 down. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> Cascade. Hey, oh. ah, now we're talking. <laughs> Susie, you've done it again. Thank that's you. for me, that's my spoon. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you sometime Lovely. later. Lovely, thank you. Well, for all the details you. of today's <laughs> recipe, uh, you can scan the QR code on your screen now to take you straight to this morning app. Are you actually eating that with a serving spoon? Yeah. That's so impressive. Good for you. <laughs>